Red Wings, a Russian airline, acquired its second TO-214 passenger aircraft in early September 2025 following its airworthiness restoration. This aircraft, which bears the registration number RA-64549, was built in 2008 for the airline Transaero. It was in operation for approximately seven years. This information is a positive development in the face of the ongoing challenges associated with the production of new 2214 aircraft at the Kazan Aviation Plant. There is an ingenious connection between Transaero and the history of the restored TU-214. The Kazan Aviation Plant airfield was the site of the aircraft's first flight on August 16, 2008, with serial number 513. The aircraft was delivered to the airline in September of the same year. RA-64549 was used extensively during its initial years of operation, accruing a substantial number of flight hours. For instance, in September 2009, it achieved a record of 457 flight hours over 80 cycles, which was indicative of the high utilization and reliability of the aircraft at that time. Nevertheless, the Kazan Aviation Plant encountered significant obstacles when it commenced the serial production of the 2214 for commercial airlines in the 2000s. It was unable to meet delivery deadlines and organize maintenance services effectively. Consequently, Transaero was unable to obtain all 10 of the aircraft it had ordered in a timely manner, and the carrier ultimately operated only three 2214s. The issue continues to exist in 2025, although many of the issues can be attributed to the economic challenges of the past 15 to 20 years. There are numerous reasons why the plant is still in a difficult situation, as we have previously described in our dispatches. The RA-64449 aircraft was relocated to Kazan for storage after Transaero's operations ceased in 2015. A decision was made to restore and bring stored aircraft back to flight conditions for interested carriers after 2022. Capo Avia oversees the restoration procedure. Red Wings has already received two restored 2214s, including RA-64549 and one TU-204-100, as part of this program. Additionally, the airline intends to acquire an additional 204-100 aircraft with the registration RA-64050. Consequently, Red Wings is progressively replenishing its fleet, which is a promising development, particularly given that these refurbished aircraft are capable of continuing to operate for an extended period. Regrettably, the Kazan Aviation Plant's manufacturing of new 2214s remains suspended despite the positive progress made in the restoration of existing airplanes. This is taking place in the context of the MC-21 program's undeniable successes. Progress on the 22214 has been exceedingly sluggish, despite the fact that the facility received substantial funding in 2022. The state-supported T214 serial production program may have been initiated as a backup project, particularly in light of the necessity to extensively modify the MC-21 into the MC-21-310 version without foreign components in the early 2020s. Nevertheless, this fallback strategy has not yet produced any results. The 2214 project has been effectively halted and no reserve aircraft have entered series production. In the interim, the MC-21 program has made notable progress, encompassing engines, onboard radio electronic equipment, fuselage and wing components, aviation tires, and more. The aircraft is scheduled to commence commercial operations in 2026. A serial production line for the new passenger planes has been established at the Irkutsk facility, and personnel have been trained. Additionally, there has been a significant amount of industrial cooperation. Conversely, Kazan's advancement is exceedingly sluggish. As a result, the government airline squadron, Rossiya, is hesitant to place new orders for 2214s, and early purchasers, such as YUVT Aero, have experienced negative consequences as a result of delays. However, the 2214 continues to draw interest. 
If not for the persistent issues with the Kazan Aviation Plant and the Tupolev Company, these aircraft would already be operational on Russian carriers. It is crucial to underscore that the Tu-214 is a passenger aircraft of exceptional quality that is still competitive and capable of satisfying the current civil aviation requirements. Over the past 15 years, a significant portion of the approximately 85 plus 2214 aircraft built have been stored or withdrawn from service. A data summary from 2024 indicates that approximately 40 Tu-214 aircraft have undergone retirement, write-off, dismantling, or storage. Specifically, in the context of Russian airlines and operators, some 2214s have been kept in storage at facilities such as the Kazan Aviation Plant for periods extending multiple years. For instance, RA-64549 was stored since 2015 before restoration began after 2022. The storage of 2214s is linked to challenges in production, sanctions affecting parts supply, and the economic and operational difficulties faced after operators like Transero ceased operations. Efforts to restore and return these stored 2214s to flight are underway with airlines like Red Wings receiving several restored aircraft recently. Thus, while exact numbers in storage at any specific time over the last 15 years vary, it is clear from available data that roughly around 40 of the total built 214 aircraft have been in storage or non-operational status over this period, awaiting restoration or disposal. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.